the three most important things that you should do when you're in a Medicaid long-term care crisis. So when the money's being spent down, you're not sure what to do, you think you're past the time that you could, you know, the look back period, which is five years, okay, to protect harder money and property for say nursing home care or in North Carolina right now, it's three years for assisted living care, five years for nursing home care, have to have everything done outside of that, you think, well, there are answers and solutions even within that look back period. And that's why it's important to act, okay, and to get proper knowledge. So one, in my opinion, thing that you should do now is you should make sure that there's a, there's a general durable power of attorney. If that person's competent, they should have a general durable power of attorney, in my opinion, in place with a person they really, really trust so that that person can act for them to make sure the band plays on, to make sure the bills are paid, to make sure that assets can even be moved or deeds can be put in place to protect property, the home, money, things like that, and to qualify, to allow qualification for a benefit like Medicaid or veterans aid attendance pension benefits. If a general durable power of attorney is not in place for personal business and legal matters, then it could lead to massive problems that could lead to the necessity to get um, a guard or to pursue a guardianship for that person, which is essentially puts the court in charge of how that money is spent and how it's saved. And it makes it very difficult to engage in protective planning to qualify for Medicaid or veterans benefit planning. So a general durable power of attorney, probably one of the most important documents that in my opinion and in my experience could be put in place if someone is in a long-term care, healthcare crisis situation. Two, deed planning and protection. There are many times things that can be done even within that look back period right away that can save real property, real estate, can save the home, that can save the farm for the family, that can save the rental house, that can save farmland, that can save uh, you know, any kind of real property. There are things that can be done and there are options that need to be pursued or at least examined. So looking at how to save property, how, what's your plan? to try to save retirement. If you're a wife of a husband who's in care, what's your plan to save some of that retirement money so that you can have that to, to live on like your husband wanted you to? How, how can we make sure also that the senior that's in care is well taken care of? All those options need to be considered, but there are and explored and there are options and there are solutions that need to be reached and that can be reached. So three, see a professional. See an estate planning or elder law attorney. And really in this case, it's an elder law attorney who's steeped and experienced in Medicaid spend downs and who's experienced in veterans aid and attendance pension benefit planning. Now, as a veteran myself of the US Navy, I pride myself on helping veterans pursue pension benefits and as a certified attorney through the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, I'm very honored and a member of American Legion, and who I'm very, which I'm very involved in. I'm very honored to work with veterans and other seniors on a regular basis. So, uh, you know, seeing a professional, it it, it, it it always makes me feel great. When someone comes to me and says, hey, you know, I heard this about you. I heard that about you, um, you, you know, and or somebody recommended me and to you and can you help me? This is what's going on with my father, my mother, my, my husband, my wife, can you help us? And the answer is always, let's take a look at it. I hope that I can help and we get down to business of seeing how we can help that senior and that family save their hard earned money and property. Click below for yet one more educational video concerning Medicaid and long-term care crisis plan.